Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the USB or Universal Serial Bus Error Code 39, where it says that Windows cannot load the device driver for this hardware, the driver might be corrupted or missing. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start Menu, just off click on the Start button one time, Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best managed should come back to registry editor. You want to right click on that, and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now, before you make any modifications to the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So in order to do that, it's very simple. Just with left click on the file, tap up at the top left. Left click on export. Make sure export range is selected to all, and then name the file whatever you want. Generally speaking, naming it the date that you're making the backup is usually a smart choice. And then save it to a convenient location on your desktop or wherever you'll easily be able to retrieve it in the future. And if you ever needed to import it back in, you just would do File, Import, and navigate over to it. So, pretty straightforward. So, once you've done that, you want to go expand the HK Local Machine folder. So, either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. You can also follow along with the path up at the top of the screen here. You can see the path computer HK Local Machine as of right now. And you're always welcome to slow down the video, pause it, rewatch it, whatever you want to do. So, anyway, after expanding HK Local Machine, you want to do the same thing for the system folder. And you want to do the same thing now for current control set. Same procedure, expand the control folder right underneath, scroll down, or you really shouldn't have to scroll down, but just go to the class folder now and expand that. Now you're looking for a 36FC9E60 folder. So right here, so it should be pretty close to the top, at least in my version of Windows, so 36FC9E60, C46511 CF and then 8056, and then it should just have some more numbers after that. Feel free to pause the video until you actually find it, but it wasn't too hard for me to locate it. And now on the right side, you want to look for something that says Upper Filters, and you want to right-click on it, and then left-click on Delete. Left-click on Yes to confirm the deletion. Once you're done with that, close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully it's resolved the problem. If you are still experiencing a problem here, I would go ahead and suggest to open up the start menu, type in Device Manager. Best match should come back with Device Manager. Go ahead and left click on that one time. And now you want to expand the Universal Serial Bus Controllers near the bottom of this list, otherwise known as USB. So expand that, double click or left click on the little arrow, same rules apply as we did in the registry editor. And you want to uninstall the controllers. So not the root hubs or the composite device, you just want to do the controllers here. So for each one, you want to go ahead and right click on it, left click on uninstall device, and just go through the list here. You want to do it for each controller listed in here. And once you're done doing that, you want to go ahead and restart your computer. So we're just going to uninstall. And once you restart your computer, they should automatically become reinstalled. Basically, it's just kind of a way of troubleshooting and resetting it. So if you notice before other tutorials, you'll remove device drivers, display adapters, whatnot. And once you restart your computer, they should automatically be reinstalled. Basically, it's like turning off your computer and turning it back on and seeing if it fixes the problem kind of deal. So it's a pretty basic troubleshooting method that I'm showing for this tutorial, and you can see it's already setting up the device as we speak. So it didn't take very long for that to happen. So you don't maybe even have to restart your computer, even though I would suggest it. But you can see they were automatically reinstalled here. So pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.